Hello and welcome to Romangrad, we collect the best stories and news that every educated person must know and explain it to you. Subscribe to our channel so as not to miss new videos. Tagalo was a short-lived Russian settlement established in 1889 in French Somaliland, modern-day Djibouti. It was located some 149 kilometers, 93 miles, west of Djibouti city. Sagala was originally a small seaside village. During antiquity Sagala was part of the city-states that engaged in a lucrative trade network connecting the merchants with Egypt, Greece, Parthian Persia and the Roman Empire. The Ottoman Empire had control over the area from the 16th to the 19th century. In 1883, Nikolay Ivanovich Achinov, an adventurer from Penza, visited Ethiopian Empire in order to establish clerical and political ties between the two countries. Ethnically he was a Terak Cossack, his family originally hailing from the northeastern Caucasus. His exact origin is disputed, while he was most likely a Russian some theories exist throughout Sagalo that he could have some Circassian or Kabardian blood in him. After his return to Russia, Achinov voiced his plans for an 1888 expedition to the Gulf of Tajara to establish a settlement while claiming to be a free Cossack. Achinov assured the participants that the Sultan of Tajara, Muhammad Loida, had permanently leased him land in the region. On 10 December 1888, Achinov along with 165 Terak Cossacks boarded a ship heading from Odessa to Alexandria. The expedition then boarded the Russian ship Lazarev which brought them to Port Said. There, Achinov rented the Austrian ship Amphitrita, which entered the Gulf of Tajara on 6 January 1889. A small settlement on the coast of what is now Djibouti was under French protectorate. The expedition was greeted by four Cossacks whom Achinov left to guard luggage and supplies on his previous visit, as well as Ethiopian priests who were also waiting for the arrival of the colonists, in particular, Archimandrite Pesig, the spiritual mentor of the enterprise. Subsequently, the expedition planned to go to Ethiopia. To gain a foothold on the coast and create a kind of outpost on the way deep into the continent, Ashinov had to find a haven for a mission. He found the abandoned Egyptian fort of Sagalo on the coast of French Somalia, now Djibouti, where the caravan settled on January 14. Ashinov proclaimed the fort a Russian territory and called it New Moscow and said that 50 miles along the coast and 100 inland is the Russian land. The Russian flag was raised on January 28. Ashinov people had woods for construction. On the land plots were planted seedlings brought from Russia and 15,000 cuttings of grapes of the best Crimean varieties. The Cossacks planted cherries never grown here. About 100 oil seeds, lemon and orange trees were purchased for planting. Cucumbers, melons, tomatoes, watermelons appeared in the gardens. Exploration of the area and the vicinity of Sagalo discovered the presence of salt, iron ore, coal, and a hot sulfur spring. The Cossacks built a church in honor of St. Nicholas, raised the flag of the religious mission and the trade flag. Achinov struggled to keep the Cossacks under his control, but some raided the Danical, stealing a cow and a sheep after driving off the local tribesmen with rifle fire. The Sultan accepted 60 francs from Achimov as reparations. The French Foreign Office demanded an explanation of Achimov's actions, and the Russian ambassador in Paris distanced the Russian Empire from Achimov. The Russian government disavowed Achinov, accusing him of disobedience to the Tsar and acts of piracy. Rumors about the formidable size of the expedition quickly spread through the press. That sounds weird and was most likely fake news. Ashinov's expedition caused a lot of noise in the press due to false rumors about a significant number of its participants. Indeed, no more than 165 people could not be called something like formidable size. Later, several colonists escaped, informing the French of the settlement's whereabouts. On 5 February, the Cossacks noticed one French cruiser and three French gunboats. An ultimatum was issued, but Ashinov misunderstood it and did not surrender. The artillery barrage that followed came as a complete surprise for the Russians, leaving six colonists dead and 22 wounded. In the course of the monstrous shelling, six people were killed, two women Daria Marchenko and Maria Martinova, who was at the last stage of pregnancy, her six-year-old son Roman, children of the Cossack Pieta Rubsov, four-year-old Mitriona and two-year-old Stepan. Of the Cossacks against whom, in fact, this action was taken, only one Mikhail Shevchenko died. French shells destroyed all endings. A shirt was raised over Sagalo as a white flag Ashinov and the settlers were arrested by the French. Soon they were delivered to Russia on the ship Zabiaka and the steamer of the Russian Society of Shipping and Trade Chikachev. On the personal instructions of Tsar Alexander III, after a short investigation, all members of the expedition were sent to their place of residence under escort. Archimandrite Paisius was assigned to a monastery in Georgia. Ashinov was sent under police supervision for three years to one of the remote districts of the Saratov province. 
This story looks oddly similar to modern-day Russia's presence in Africa, or at least the most vocal case of that. You can find it on the internet by typing MMM, 3M, Nigeria, or something like Mabrodi Nigeria. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Be well and until next time.